So, here I'm going to show you how to change a monoblock mixer tap. Um, this is the tap that we're removing. Um, the valves have burst into it. Um, Fire Brigade put up the water pressure yesterday in the scheme. Um, and that burst our mixer tap as the, the pressure shot up. So I'm going to show you how to fix that and put it in a state where hopefully that's not going to happen again. This tool here is going to be an invaluable tool to you if you don't have them because it gives you the reach to get in to be able to get into these difficult areas which will show you to be able to remove the tap. So up under here, very difficult for my camera to pick it up in these lights, is a screw that's going to have to come down the full length. I'll show you it properly when we get out but that's why this tool is going to be important to make this job easier. So this here is the bolt nut in question or the long threadless uh, threaded screw with bolt attachment that I removed from here using that tool and the way this operates is that encapsulates the entire thread of that screw and the nut then goes into it which is why it's such a useful tool for getting pushed up and into the awkward areas where your body and arm just don't want to twist to. So I'll show you the, the new one going in. So this is the new monoblock tap that we're putting in place. It's got two screw head fitments there and the other screw head fitment for the bolt. Into these fitments I'm going to be attaching flexi hoses. Reason I'm doing that is the plumber um, who we spoke to about getting this sorted um, told us that had we had flexi hoses in place the other tap probably wouldn't have burst because with the sudden increase in the pressure because we had the fixed pipes that's what allowed it to blow with the flexi ones in place even with a sudden increase in pressure that probably wouldn't have happened so we're going to be putting flexi hoses into the system which just screw in here like that as you can see and it's just hand tight, don't need to over tighten, it's just hand tight because the washer will do the rest, a little rubber washer that's on the end. Now, purchase this from Screwfix, so if you're looking to get one, um, I'll put the link down below so you can get the exact same one again. But the reason we went for these handles is I've been told that those handles are a lot stronger and a lot more heavy duty due to the sort of plunger nature of them compared to the quarter turn handles here which don't take the, the pressure increase just as easily but just the way the valve system works inside them. So again if you're looking to change your tap because of the same things happened that might be a useful piece of advice that I can pass on and help you with. So first stages as we see I've got both my flexi hoses positioned in and tightened by hand and I've then got the threaded screw here positioned in and tightened by hand. The next thing it goes in is this, which is the anti-rotational washer, which will just go over the top of these and up into there. Right, so the anti-rotational washer's in place, and now I fit the assembly through the hole. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. One in. Okay, two in. And sit down. So that'll just lie to its side at the minute until I get in. Next parts we need to fit are these. And the order they're going to go on is from underneath, this will fit over the threaded screw, then this, and then this will lock it in. And again, I'll use this tool with the appropriate diameter end to tighten it up. And then that'll be that part of the tap locked in place. So tap is in place, been screwed in, rubber washer underneath to hold it in place and then underneath it's your horseshoe shaped ones, rubber one first, then the metal before getting held in place by the bolt, which is up, buried under there, which again, we'll see if we can get the camera to it, but not easy. That so it's up there, you can just sort of see it in the camera, but not greatly. There's my flexi hoses dropping down. Now the flexi hoses need to be attached now to here, but as you can see there's a gap. 
and that's because the flexi hoses need to be attached to a piece of copper leaving some flex in the hoses as well so to these we now need to attach our copper lens so now that the taps installed the flexi hoses are installed I need to install a bit of copper length between the flexi hose and the existing pipework and to cut my copper length down I'm going to use a tube cutter and this all you do is tighten it round your copper pipe and then twist this round the copper pipe to the lengths that we're looking for so I'm going to go ahead and do that with one but I'll install it and show you what it looks like on so as you can see this just goes on and then I'll tighten it up a bit further and then rotate it round my pipe like so continually and that's going to cut through and then tighten this if I need to tighten it a bit more so I'm going to chop my length off which will be variable depending on your sink and we'll see the next part as you can see it's already cutting through just keep tightening the cutting wheel if need be we're getting there already nice thing about these rather than a hack blade is you're going to have a lovely even cut for joining the pipe there we go smooth and lovely and smooth on the cut side as well and nice and even so onto my pipe I need to put I think if I remember right these are called olives um, I worked in B&Q many years ago and I can't remember but I'm sure they are called olives and we need to slide that on along with the nut, oops, nut first or I could put the nut on the other side so nut first and then the olive and the olive acts as the compression between the pipe for us so that will tighten everything down as I screw it almost like a, a washer so I put that in place and I'll do the same to the flexi hose and that will be that side plumbed up so as we can see at the top here the first flexi hose is attached that's just been attached with an adjustable spanner and I'll attach this pipe down here again with an olive and nut so nut and olive will slide onto the pipe there so nut, olive place them in place and then it'll be slide that down and tighten up hand tight first and then tighten with the wrench and then I'll repeat the process for the other pipe so that's it that's a monoblock tap plumbed sorry the footage isn't going to be ideally as clear as I'd like it but when you're working in darkness holding a camcorder and trying to fit things with the other hand it's, it's not the easiest you must appreciate especially as you remember I'm not a plumber I'm just trying to help you out save you a few shekels um, but you can see the flexi hose coming down to the two bits of copper piping which are attached to the taps it's a 15mm copper piping on mine um, yours may vary depending on your setup but I believe 15mm is the most common um, and that's it that's really all there is to it the most difficult part of this is physically getting your body in there to access things but that tool I showed you at the start for the monoblock taps invaluable um, get yourself one whether it's the exact same type or not it's your own choice but get yourself one that will do that job because it's an invaluable tool for fitting a monoblock tap in these tight to fit areas um, those taps you could fit yourselves as well so that's it and thanks for watching. Good luck if you need to use this video. Just quickly want to show you. One tap. Cold water. One tap. Hot water. So, up and running. I'll see it for the third time. Hope the video helped you. Take care.
Now should you not want to install flexi hosey, the tap that we bought, and again I'll put the link down below, does come with copper connectors so you can use the solid piping. But I was advised that using the flexi hose completely eliminates the chance of what happened to our tap happening again because it absorbs the pressure if the water pressure just changes dramatically to stop the valves being blown out. Um, so between the heavier duty tap and the flexi hosing, it eliminates that ever becoming an issue again. Hence why we've got the flexi hosing from the advice I was given. Um, so hopefully it's helped and good luck if you're again about to do this to your own system. <laughs>